Hey guys, Sal here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X, which is a 6-core, 12-threaded desktop processor. Because this is a Ryzen CPU, a Ryzen 5 5600X specifically, that means this can only be compatible with AM4 motherboards. And just as an added bonus, this CPU does come with a added Wraith Stealth Cooler, which is more than adequate to cool your CPU. It's not shown in this video, but it does come in the box that you would normally get with this CPU. And in this video, I'm going to be showing off a CPU stress test, and we're going to see the performance of the CPU, as well as the temperatures that we get as a max and as an average. This CPU has a base clock speed of 3.7 GHz and a boost clock speed of up to 4.6 GHz. While that stress test runs in the background at a 2000% speed, we can see that this CPU is basically meant for any kind of impressive processing power for various tasks, including gaming, content creation, and any kind of other productivity. This CPU supports PCIe 4.0, allowing for faster data transfer rates and better compatibility with the latest storage devices and graphics cards. In that first clip, we saw us running the CPU stress test with a single core, and now we're running the stress test as the multi-core to see what type of scores and temperatures we get as a max and as an average. And while our CPU did score higher than average for this current 5600X, we can also see over on the right in one second that our temperatures were very, very, very cool. As we did have a Corsair IQ 150i Elite Capellix paired up with the CPU, so we had adequate cooling throughout the entire stress test. 